Hi guys, welcome to our channel Mythical Science. So today in our channel, we are going to see about the artificial womb in Mahabharata. In our last video, we saw about the science behind the embryo ball which came out from Gandhari's womb. And today we will see in detail about the development of baby from that embryo ball. So Gandhari was very much astonished and shocked on seeing the flesh ball that came out of her womb instead of a baby. So she was so much devastated and thinks of throwing out the embryo ball. But Rishi Vyasar arrives there and explains her about the embryo ball and he orders to bring 100 pots filled with ghee. He divides the embryo ball into 100 parts and places each part in a pot and closes it. Then he creates a deep cave underground and hangs those 100 pots in the underground cave. He says that no one other than Gandhari should enter or stay in the cave and he also advises Gandhari that nobody should disturb the pots for two years because it takes two years for the development of baby inside the pot. And Gandhari stayed in the cave for two years and carefully took care of the babies inside the pot. After two years, the babies came out of the pot one by one and the first baby who came out of the pot was Duryodhana. Baby development in pot, that looks so weird. But now, let us see the scientific device which approves this concept. Recently, modern scientists are developing and designing a device and it is called artificial womb. It is not in usage, the trials with animal models are on process. This artificial womb device is being designed to treat premature babies. These premature babies are born before complete development in womb, which results in serious health issues. In order to prevent that, scientists have designed it. So the necessary nutrients and oxygen supply for the baby is let in through the tubes. Recently, they have successfully made a trial with the lamb model. But the technique used by Rishi Vyasar in Mahabharata is so complex because the baby is transferred to the artificial womb in embryo stage, that is even before the start of development. But the materials used by Rishi Vyasar was general and common. We would think the possibility to be very low. But science supports the logic behind the usage of these materials. First one is the underground cave. Why necessarily a cave underground? Because underground is a place where there is no human intervention, which will leave the place pollution and infection free. And it also stays soundproof. Second is the usage of earthen pot. Usage of earthen pot is to balance the temperature and it has small small pores within which facilitates air circulation. Third is only Gandhari allowed to stay in because if many humans enter, it will result in the spread of germs, dust and dirt and that may also decrease the oxygen level underground. But something that is too weird in this technique is the usage of ghee for baby development. Ghee is a nutritious food rich in proteins, fats, vitamins, minerals, etc. But baby formation with such limited source of nutrients is not that easy. But the point to be noted is, our ancestors have mentioned about so much of techniques and methods in various scriptures, but they wouldn't have told the complete procedure or process of those techniques, because their main concept was that it's okay even if nobody uses these techniques, but they never wanted anybody to misuse these techniques. For example, if all the procedure and process of these techniques are well explained in a detailed manner, everybody would start using it. And some may also misuse it. So these techniques passed from one generation to another just by voice, that is like teacher to student, father to son in a limited way. But as time passes, those chain was broken and all those techniques were lost. And this is one among that. So some additional ingredients would have been used in that technique, but it is left unmentioned in the scriptures. So the modern device artificial womb proves the birth of Duryodhana. And yes, this is the concept of artificial womb in Mahabharata. Hope you liked our video. Do like and share our video and subscribe to our channel Mythical Science. And drop your feedbacks in the comment section. And this content blog link is in the description. So kindly click on to it. So meet you guys in our next video. Until then, it's Team Mythical Science signing off. Bye guys and thanks for watching.